First of all, welcome back to the podcast. All right. Hey, Coach O, like, what's up, bro? What's up? What you on right now, Coach? Every time I look, man, it's another commitment every other day. What you on? What you like, what, Coach? Coach O, bro, talk, talk to me, dog. Talk to me. I can't keep up no more. I mean, y'all know back in the day, the past two years, every time y'all got a commitment, I was breaking news, breaking news. Y'all was getting the notifications. I was on it. I was giving them to you. I can't keep up now. I got to wait till signing day, after signing day, and put this whole recruiting class video together and break that down for offense and defense because y'all getting so much recruits. Y'all wilding. That's not how the game is played. You can't do that. And today, <laughs> oh, oh, y'all got a big one today. So y'all got a four-star athlete by the name of Kobe Boykin. Now, you know, you want to know what's crazy? You want to talk about a full circle moment? I made a video on this kid back when he was a three-star prospect in his junior year last year when Morgan State offered him. Because I was thinking, like, oh, Morgan State is going after some, you know, this is the type of player that can turn the program around for Morgan State. You know, like, I didn't see any, any other HBCUs really talking to him then except Morgan. A year later, he gets his fourth star. These, these offers just keep rolling in. And now he's a Jackson State commit. You got a four-star commit who could really be at Utah, Texas A&M, Washington State, Arizona State. I'm talking about Power 5 programs. This is a legitimate four-star prospect according to rivals. So Kobe Boykin is an athlete, okay? He's 5'8", 155 pounds. I'm pretty sure he's put on more weight since then, but that uh, that's just according to rivals. So he's from Miami, Florida. He's up to class for 2024. He is a top 25 athlete in the country, okay? A top 25 athlete. This kid is legit. So he has a span of total of 22 offers, I believe. And I'm gonna run down all of them because I just want y'all to know, y'all really got a dog in this kid, all right? So Utah and Utah State, Arkansas State, Campbell, uh, Colorado State, Georgia Southern, Grambling, Hawaii, Liberty, Maryland, Memphis, Penn State, San Diego State, Tennessee State, Texas A&M, UNLV, Washington State, Arizona, Arizona State, Colorado, Morgan State, Pittsburgh, and San Jose State. Not to mention, he took offers. I mean, he took visits to schools like the University of Oregon and, um, and other schools. This kid is a power five prospect that you now have in your recruiting class. This is one of the bigger gets, all right? Straight up dynamic playmaker. I don't know his stats from his senior year. I think y'all will find out tonight on Ken's um uh Ken and Zoe's uh, live that they, that they'll be having. But as for his junior year stats, I mean this is a kid who was a back-to-back -back league MVP, a first team all CIS, so he's first team all conference, he's first team all state according to Max Preps, he's second team all Orange County, and he switched schools, so you're gonna see him like we, if you watch his highlights, you're seeing him in an Orange County uniform. He switched schools for his last year. So you'll see different uniforms in the highlights probably. But his junior year, he had 1,100 yards rushing, 1,150 to be exact. Averaged 7.6 yards per carry on the ground with 15 touchdowns. On top of that, he played defense. He played kick return, punt return as well. And through the air, catching the football, he had 38 receptions, 674 yards, averaged 17.7 .7 yards per catch, and 10 touchdowns through the air. This is a dog. This is a certified dog that y'all got. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see that boy out there his freshman year. That's a dog, man. Like, that, that is a guy who's going to be all swag. That's a guy who's going to get the invites to uh, the Legacy Bowls and everything when his time is up. That's the guy, man. That's the guy. You got a real playmaker in Kobe Boykin. The speed is there. The athleticism is there. The uh, the breakaway speed is there, as a matter of fact. So he's not going to get chased down by anybody. He's shifty. He's quick. He got the juke. Oh, is, does that boy have the juke moves? Oh, my goodness. Um, And I will show y'all the clip if I knew it was going to get copyrighted. Uh, basically, you got a dog. So... Just be happy about that. Y'all got a dog. With that being said, y'all let me know what you think about him down below in the comment section. All right, please follow Kobe Boykin on social media if you haven't already. I'll put those pictures up for his IG as well as his Twitter. And I will see y'all next time on the Blitz City Podcast. Hopefully, 
Hopefully, I can catch up before National Signing Day. If not, y'all will get those uh, those videos for the offense and the defense. As a matter of fact, let me know which one you want first, the offense or the defense, after national early National Signing Day next week. With that being said, y'all watching the Blitz City Podcast. I'm your host, Kobe Orr. Catch me on Kenny Zoe's Live tonight, and we out. Peace.